Hi, I'm, I'm Heather Bischel. I'm an assistant professor in civil and environmental engineering at UC Davis. We're working on a wastewater-based epidemiology project with the campus. Our laboratory with several other research labs on campus have joined together with the campus to sample wastewater from the sewer system throughout campus and also to sample wastewater influent to the treatment plan. The reason we're doing this is to try to measure the SARS coronavirus in the wastewater as a kind of backstop or a back, um, backup plan to the individual testing that's been deployed out on campus. A typical deployment would be after the, uh, the pods are calibrated and programmed, they're dropped into a, a manhole secured by a hanger. Uh, it's dropped in, make sure that it's uh, in a perfect spot where it can grab those samples for us. Retrieving them is the reverse process where we come back, pull that manhole, pull the pod out, extract our 100 mil uh, sample that we need for the, for the lab, and then discard the rest. Um, we ended up um, hooking up with TAPS, and they provided us with some bike lockers. Um, they installed them over upstream cleanouts, um, so we were able to uh, deploy the auto sampler upstream, but able to do a downstream uh, pull, which helps us out tremendously. The reason we do upstream grabs is to isolate a building. Is on a downstream grab, we might have three buildings coming into this one hole. You know, if you don't want to catch all three of those buildings and you're wanting to isolate a certain one, that's where we do upstream versus downstream. On the programming itself, it'll tell us how many samples we missed. We're getting anywhere from 95 to 100 samples. And depending on some of the conditions, whether it was ragged, uh, there wasn't enough flow, uh, the positioning of the strainer, uh, sometimes we'll miss samples. So for DECOM, we're gonna, we'll disassemble the pods. The centerpiece with the pump will be set onto a, a set of uh, saw horses, essentially. And they're suspended. Underneath, um, we have the carboy that's gonna catch all the, uh, the water. After that, we decon the outside, just in case you were to, to touch it later on without gloves or without any PPE that there's no infection or any, anything. The campus has really brought together their um, resources to be able to get us the samples and then in the laboratory we have a whole team that's taking those samples, processing them, concentrating them, extracting the genomic material of the virus that would be in the wastewater and looking at the results from those samples. You know, and our leadership is really supportive about it and really driven to push this and there's a ton of great people that are that are around it so when you have that and everybody's you know pursuing that, that goal you know it, it keeps you motivated, keeps everything flowing. It's a good process.